Hey, 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 everybody, welcome back. This is Bobby Borg, and you are with me to discuss music marketing for the DIY musician, creating and executing a plan of attack on a low budget, and of course, I am here to help you turn your art into a more successful business. As I pointed out in the introduction, I am going to actually speak a little bit about the topic of measuring, which is a strategy that I left out from the last section. So, what is measuring? I'm gonna actually read you a quote by Mr. John Wanamaker, a pioneering marketer and merchant. And he is noted for saying the following, half the money I spend on marketing is wasted. The problem is I don't know which half. So think about that. Do we really know what is working and what is not working? You know, an interesting thing, when I speak at conventions, a lot of times I have a student that raises their hand and they'll always say something like, you know, Bobby, everything you're saying is making so much sense. And, you know, and we do this and my band does publicity and we do advertising and we do put ourselves out there, but we just are not able to seem to get to the next level. The next thing I ask them is, how do you know you're doing everything correctly? And it always stumps people and they always go, wow. We don't really know because most people do not take the time to measure their marketing. Let me give you another example. A student came into my uh, counseling one time and said to me, you know, I'm really disappointed. I had a show and nobody showed up to the show and I sent out my email campaign and I said, okay, well, well let, let me see that email. Let's go ahead and take a look at that email. So we sent about 500 emails out. I looked at the email and the email said, in the subject line, yo, <laughs> you know? So I mean, first, that's not a very effective form of communication. Then what we did is we actually looked into the platform that he was using to send out his email. It was, serve, it was um, MailChimp. And we actually looked in the analytical tools in the back there, and we saw that only three people opened his email out of 500. He was amazed by that. So I said, it is not working. You have to stop doing this. Let's figure out how to write more effective emails. We rewrote an email on his next campaign. He actually got 98 people now to open his email. Do you see what I'm saying? People that do the same things over and over again are essentially what? The definition of insanity, right? is what people do the same things over and over again and expect different results. So measuring your marketing is so very, very important. And there's a number of techniques that we can use to measure. I mean, simply, one of the best ways to, to, to measure is just pay attention to sales. You know, how many sales are you making? At the end of the night, when you play a show, go ahead and add up the money that you sold up in merch. How does it compete with the next night and the next night and the next night and so on and so forth? When you see dips, ask yourself, what did we do wrong this night that we did, you know, something maybe we left out that we didn't do the other night? You have to constantly measure your marketing so that you can do things more effectively, okay? This is such a very, very important concept. All right, um, what are some of the other things that you could do in the merch business? What they do is, is they measure sales by counting inventory. In other words, they'll count the number of t-shirts in and then they'll count the number of t-shirts out and they'll make sure that the money all matches up. You know, you can do things like, so for example, on your website, you can actually use Google Analytics on your website to make sure that you are clear about how many people are going to your website, which pages they're going to on your website, and for how long they are on each page. You might be blown away by what you found out, you know, what you find out. Um, I had another student that was actually spending a lot of time putting up pictures on their website, and I said, well, are you sure anybody's actually going to that part of your website? And they're like, oh, you know, they have to be, because you assume that when your stuff is online, everybody is just looking at it. Not true. We actually put Google Analytics on their website and unfortunately what happened, they found out that nobody goes to that page. Would you believe that? All that time that we're spending on that, nobody goes to that page. So again, this is the concept of measuring your marketing. There's a number of different tools to measure your marketing um, in the book. I definitely want you to take a look at. Um, one more I think that's really, really cool too is um, what I call uh, sort of a promotion report card. And what that would mean is in your campaign, what you do is you make a list of all the different strategies that you're using, and then you ask people when they come to your show, for example, how did you hear about us? It's a simple question. How did you hear about us? And you might mark out print ad. 
you know, poster from the beach, poster from downtown, you know, and so on and so forth. And you add up the ones that got the most uh, action and then you use those again and maybe throw out the other ones, you know? So this is what effective marketing is all about, all right? So my name is Bobby Borg. Of course, you know, I am here to help you turn your art into a more successful business. Um, we are now going to move on to uh, talking about issues regarding assembling your marketing plan and putting all of these things into a, um, you know, a physical document that you can use to, to sell yourself to investors and use as a communication tool within your organization and so on and so forth, all right? So, Make sure to come back and uh, we'll get started in a minute. Thank you.